Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. Uh, so this is actually going to be the last tutorial regarding the movement. Uh, in the next tutorials we're going to be moving on to the actual weapons themselves. Um, we get our weapon controller set up. Uh, but for this episode we're going to work on different movement speeds when we're jumping, crouching and proning. Um, and we've also got a little uh, bug fix to, to put in. Alright, so we're just going to jump right into it. So let's first have a look at this bug. Uh, so it looks like when I built it, I made it so that when I hit space, um, if we're crouched, we just stand up. Which is all good, except I forgot to check that we're actually able to stand. Uh, which we implemented for when I tried to hit crouch and we're already crouched. So if I hit C, we're all good. And if I hit space, you can see we stand up into the object. Which is not good. So, nice quick fix. We're just going to open up our character controller. Um, and we're just going to go down to the jump. So I'm going to minimize these. So you can see here, we literally say if we're crouched, then just set it to stand, which is not good because we spent all that time implementing the the check, which I believe if I look at crouch, it's just here. So the stance check. So I'm going to copy that, just bring it over to uh, just before we add the stand, and I'm just going to paste that in there. So we're going to use the same check we do when we try to stand up from a crouch. Um, and that simple fix should fix that. I guess I must have just forgotten to add it, or maybe I did that before um, and forgot to go back. Um, but that nice little simple fix will now stop me from jumping when there's something uh, right above my head. So I won't be able to hit space, uh, which is good. Alright, so moving on to our speed now. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is, so if I open up Calculate Movement, so you see here we have our smoothing, where we smooth the movement. Um, I want it to be um, smoother, I think is the term. <laughs> I want it to be smoother when we're in the air. So it feels like there's more of a delay when we're in the air, which should create the effect that it's a little bit harder to move in the air. Um, so we're going to try that. So I'm just going to open up our models. Uh, so our SCR models, um, go to our player settings that we've been building. And just below jumping, I'm going to add another public float. Um, and we'll call this jump, uh, actually falling, smoothing. So it's going to behave the same way as our movement smoothing, except we'll only apply it when we're not grounded. So to apply this, it's nice and easy. If we just go over to where we use our movement smoothing, um, where we smooth our new movement speed, um, I'm going to cut that value. Um, and we basically need to either use the movement smoothing or the falling smoothing, depending on whether we're grounded. So I'm going to do an inline um, statement um, and we'll just uh, choose a value based off of the condition. So the condition I want to use is in our uh, character controller. And it's the dot is grounded. So, and then we follow it by a question mark where we provide the values depending on that condition. So the first value, so if we are grounded, I'm just going to paste. We want to use our player settings dot movement smoothing, followed by a colon, which means our alternative value. So if that condition is false, um, we want to then use our player settings dot falling smoothing. Cool. Nice and easy. Um, so before I test it out, I actually want to implement the rest. So the rest is nice and easy. I'm going to have it based off of percentages. Um, so we can basically say, I want the crouching speed to be 60% of the walking speed, uh, which should make it nice and easy later on. So I'm going to create another header. Um, and the way we're going to do this is I'm going to base it off of effectors. So we're going to create an effect in value, which will be the percentage. Um, and then we'll change that value depending on whether we're crouched, prone, or falling. So I'm going to put speed effectors. I think that's about that right. And then below that we're going to create a few public floats. So our first public float is going to be our actual speed effector, which we can give a default value of 1. So remember this is a percentage divided by 100, uh, so 1 being 100%, 0 0.1 being 10%, and 0 being 0. So we'll create another public float. So this is what we're going to be changing it to depending on our player's condition. So we're going to have our crouch speed effector. 
We also have a public float for prone speed effector. And then lastly, we'll have a public float for falling speed effector. All right, so let's go to our catch controller and plug this in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the speed effector value um, to basically modify the vertical speed. So it should be nice and easy. We can literally just say vertical speed times speed effector to give us our value. So just below this is sprinting. So here we're gonna put our effectors. And below that, we're gonna use the effectors. So quite easy to add. You can just do vertical speed times equals, and then we can use our player settings dot speed effector. And we'll do the exact same thing for horizontal speed. So the speed effect is set to one. Obviously it isn't gonna make any difference whatsoever, but if we change it to 0.6, we should be getting 60% of our vertical speed. Um, so let's add in our effectors so that we can actually modify the value. So the first value is gonna be whether we're grounded or not. So nice and simple. Um, we will just use our character controller dot is grounded. And if we are grounded, we're going to set our speed effector to player settings dot falling, uh, sorry, not falling smoothing, our falling speed effector. You can kind of see this pattern is going to follow throughout the rest. Uh, so we'll just add an else if, and then inside here, we'll have player settings, um, Oh wait, no, sorry, it's player stance. Equals player stance dot crouch. So this is if we crouched. Uh, we then want to do the exact same thing we do here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Except instead of our falling speed, we're going to use our crouch speed. Then I'm going to copy this whole section here because we're going to do the same for prone. I'll put prone in there. And then obviously instead of crouch speed, it is now our prone speed. All right. And then lastly, if none of those are true, just set it to its default, which will be 100%. In our case is one. Okay. That seems about right. So let's go into Unity and let's start testing this new stuff out. All right. So the first thing I want to check is our... Uh, moving speed while we're in the air. So I'm actually going to go on our player to our character controller. Let's hide these settings for now. I'm going to set gravity uh, to zero and I'm going to move our player a little bit above the air. That way we'll always be falling. So I'm going to hit play and firstly I want to test the delay. So you can see straight away there's no delay. Um, that's because we didn't give it a default value but it means that our new variable is hooked up which is good. So let's go back to our player settings and let's start giving these some values. So firstly, our falling smoothing. I don't want it to be too drastic, just double the movement smoothing. So I'm going to set that to 0.4. Our speed effector is defaulted to 1. That actually, we don't need to change that. Crouch speed effector, I'm going to say 0.6, which will be 60%. 0.2 for prone, so 20%. And say 0.4 for falling. Okay, now let's give that a go. Now we have actual values in there. Okay, so firstly you can see it's a little bit more delayed. And the movement speed isn't that high. Um, however, we can still bring it down a little. Um, but we'll see what it feels like when we're on the actual ground. Uh, so let's go ahead and re-enable gravity. I'll pop that back in 0.03. And then take a look at the rest. So it looks like I got my falling mixed up a little. So here where we say it is grounded, um, we don't want to apply this if we're grounded. We want to apply it if we're not grounded. So just at the beginning of that condition, just add an exclamation mark. So we're saying if we're not grounded, then we'll set the falling speed. 
you know, I was thinking that that was a little too fast, so <laughs> I'm just going to disable gravity again um, and just double check that again. Okay, there we go. So this is what our falling speed and movement in the air would be like. That's much better. It's more sort of minimal movement in the air, but we still have some movement, which is good. Make it feel a little bit more responsive. So I'm going to put gravity back on and let's test the rest. So see when we're on the ground, everything is normal. And if I crouch, see it's a little bit slower. And then if I prone, it's very slow. Cool. So then the next thing we want to check is our jumping. So we can jump and it still feels responsive. The other plus side we have now is while we're jumping, uh, the player does slow down a little. So it's good to kind of put the player off just spamming jump because you move a little bit slower. And then the other thing it fixes is we don't use our sprinting speed when we're in the air. So you see it slows us down a lot. All right. So now that those are fixed, uh, now that we actually have different movement depending on our player stats uh, and stance. So really the next step is to add in our weapons um, and actually build our, our weapon controller. Uh, and we have all these values to play with, which we can use to make the weapon controller nice and reactive. So this will be the last one for a little while. I'm going to take a little bit of a break while I work on my next devlog. Uh, but make sure you're subscribed so you can get the next one. And also join the Discord if you, if you need any help. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.